Well, if the market can't handle a 2% 10-year, Sarah, I'd say we have a lot of trouble, particularly given the amount of fiscal stimulus that we poured into the economy over the last two years. So, yes, I do think we can handle this. This feels reminiscent of last year. And, again, it's justified. Last year we were expecting higher rates. We didn't see them. Um, we are definitely going to get higher rates this year. And if you think about what's happening, this, this re-rating or reset from a valuation perspective in the market doesn't necessarily correlate to what's happening in the economy. And so I agree. Um, I think, you know, buying the dip in some of these high valuation growth stocks, not necessarily what I do today. But I do think that from an economic standpoint, we are looking at continued growth over the next several quarters. We are looking at an economy that continues to reaccelerate. And we haven't even seen the amount of services spend that we were anticipating from the consumer. So there's a lot of positives here that offset some of what's happening in the interest rate environment. Yeah, Shannon, obviously, I mean, a lot of people came into this year with a somewhat similar idea that maybe overall market returns might moderate or probably will moderate from last year, but cyclically geared stuff should have be better positioned, play higher yields. We've taken a big bite <laughs> in that direction, right? I mean, energy and banks are up 7, 8, 9 percent in six trading days, and you have tech software, you know, down 5, 6 percent. So that's a massive performance spread. And to your point about last year, we saw this thing swing back and forth a few different times. So, you know, if you say maybe not today to buy the big tech stocks, is the market going to give you a chance? Well, I think that there's a difference between high quality cash generating big tech um, and some of the, you know, whether it's software names or some of the high flyers that we experienced huge gains in in 2020. And so I think you do need to be selective, Mike. And I think what's, what we're start, going to start to see is a real divergence um, in the quote unquote growth sector, um, not just technology stocks, but areas of healthcare. anywhere that you have those long duration cash flows, you're seeing innovation. There are going to be opportunities to add to your portfolio. But I just think about what's happening and the fact that if you look around, I mean, the cloud is clearly not dead. And so if I look at, you know, players that are going to benefit from continued growth in the cloud, that's where I would be putting, you know, my biggest emphasis over the next few weeks, because the cloud is going to continue to be the foundation for businesses. And we're not all going back to in on-site working. And so I think that that's where I would be looking if you're asking me where there might be some opportunities in the next few weeks.